Ever wondered why crate training your furry friend can feel like a daunting task? You're not alone. Many dog owners grapple with this challenge, often due to common misconceptions about the process. Some believe it's cruel, while others worry about causing anxiety in their pets. But here's the truth. When done correctly, crate training can provide a safe haven for your dog, a place of comfort and security. Today, we'll break down crate training into 10 easy to follow steps, making it a breeze for you and your pup. Step one starts with choosing the right crate. It's not as simple as it seems, as the size and type of crate you choose can have a significant impact on your dog's comfort and acceptance of this new space. Firstly, consider the size of your dog. The crate should be large enough for your dog to stand, turn around and lie down comfortably but not so big that your dog could use one corner as a bathroom. For those with puppies, remember they grow quickly. Consider a crate with a divider that can adjust as your puppy grows. The breed of your dog can also influence the type of crate you choose. Some dogs prefer wire crates for better ventilation and visibility, while others feel more secure in a plastic crate. Additionally, take into account your dog's comfort. Soft bedding can help make the crate a cozy retreat. Remember, a crate should be a safe and comfortable space for your dog. Step two is all about making the crate inviting. To achieve this, think of what makes you feel comfortable at home. It's the same for our canine companions. They need a cozy and welcoming space to feel safe. Start by adding some bedding to the crate. A soft blanket or a comfy dog bed will do the trick. It will not only provide a cushion for your dog, but also give them something familiar to snuggle into. Toys can also be a great addition. They offer a source of entertainment for your dog and can help alleviate any potential boredom. Lastly, consider adding some treats or chews. These can be especially useful in making the crate a positive place. Your dog will start to associate the crate with these pleasant experiences, and over time, they will be more willing to spend time there. Your dog's crate should be a place that they associate with comfort and safety. Step three is introducing your dog to the crate. This step is crucial and should be approached with lots of positivity and patience. The crate is going to be your dog's own personal space, a place of comfort and safety. So the introduction needs to be a stress-free experience for your furry friend. There are a few techniques that can make this introduction easier. One of them is using treats. Place a few of your dog's favorite treats inside the crate. This will make your dog associate the crate with something positive, something they love. Also, positive reinforcement goes a long way in this process. Whenever your dog goes inside the crate voluntarily, shower them with praises and more treats. This will encourage them to use the crate more often, and soon enough, they will start seeing it as a safe and comfortable space. Always remember, patience is key in this process. It might take some time, but the results will be worth the wait. Your dog will eventually feel at home in their crate and you'll have peace of mind knowing they're comfortable and safe. Step four involves feeding your dog inside the crate. This step is crucial in creating positive associations with the crate. Begin by placing your dog's food bowl near the entrance of the crate. This allows your dog to eat while still feeling safe and not confined. Over time, gradually move the food bowl further into the crate. Remember, this is a gradual process and patience is key. As your dog becomes more comfortable eating inside the crate, you can begin to close the crate door during mealtimes. Start by closing the door only for a few seconds, then gradually increase the time. The goal is to have your dog comfortably eating their entire meal inside the crate with the door closed. This process of feeding inside the crate is instrumental in making your dog feel comfortable and safe. It turns the crate into a happy place, a place where good things happen. This step can help your dog see the crate as a happy place. Step five is about gradually increasing crate time. As we've created a safe and comfortable space within the crate, it's time to extend the duration our furry friend spends there. Like any new experience, the key here is to progress slowly and steadily. Imagine being placed in a new environment all of a sudden. It can be overwhelming, right? It's the same for our dogs. So let's approach this with patience, gradually extending their crate time. Start with intervals of 10 to 15 minutes and slowly progress to an hour or more. Now you may be wondering, 
How do we keep our dogs engaged for such a long duration? That's where treats and toys come into play. Fill the crate with their favorite goodies, chewy toys, puzzle toys, and treat-filled Kongs. These will keep your dog occupied and content, associating crate time with fun and relaxation. Gradual increases in crate time help your dog adjust without feeling overwhelmed. Remember, patience and consistency are your best friends in this journey. Step six, we'll discuss crate training during nighttime. This transition can be a bit tricky, but don't worry, we've got some strategies to make it smoother. Start by placing the crate in your bedroom or a nearby area. This way, your dog won't feel alone and will be comforted by your presence. Now, remember, dogs are creatures of habit, so let's use this to our advantage. Establish a consistent bedtime routine a bit of playtime, then a trip outside to take care of business, and finally, a calm wind down period leading to crate time. Sometimes there might be a few bumps in the road. Your dog might whine or seem restless. This, this is normal. Don't give in and let them out. Otherwise, they'll learn that whining gets them what they want. Instead, reassure them with your voice or a gentle touch on the crate. Remember, consistency is crucial when crate training at night. Step seven is about leaving your dog in the crate while you're away. Now this may seem like a daunting task, but trust me, it's all about taking it slow and steady. Begin by leaving your furry friend in the crate for short intervals, maybe when you're just popping out to grab the mail. Gradually increase this time as your dog gets more comfortable with the idea of being alone. It's important to remember not to make a big fuss when you're leaving or returning home. This helps to normalize the experience and reduces the potential for separation anxiety. You can also leave behind a comforting item, like a favorite toy or blanket, to provide a sense of familiarity. Remember, dogs are social creatures and crave company. So if you're planning to be away for a longer period, consider having someone check on your dog or arranging for a doggy daycare. With patience and consistency, your dog will learn to stay calm in the crate when you're not home. Step eight tackles dealing with whining in the crate. It's a common scenario. Your dog whines or cries when they're in the crate and it tugs at your heartstrings. But hold on, before you rush to comfort them, let's take a moment to understand what's happening here. Your dog is just trying to communicate. They might be bored, anxious, or simply want your attention. Now here's the tricky part. If you react to the whining by giving them attention, you're essentially teaching them that whining gets them what they want. Instead, you need to encourage quiet, calm behavior. So how do you do this? Start by ignoring the whining. Yes, it's tough, but it's crucial. Then, when they've settled down, reward them with praise, a treat, or some playtime. This process helps to reinforce the idea that calm behavior, not whining, leads to rewards. Remember, rewarding calm behavior helps your dog feel secure in the crate. Step nine is specifically for those with puppies. Now, when it comes to crate training puppies, there are a few special considerations to bear in mind. The first is the need for more frequent breaks. Unlike adult dogs, puppies have smaller bladders and less control over their bodily functions. This means they'll need to go outside to do their business more often, so be prepared for plenty of breaks. The second consideration is the potential for overnight accidents. Puppies may not be able to hold it in for the whole night, so don't be too surprised if you wake up to a little mess. It's just part of the process. Remember, crate training a puppy is not about punishment. It's about creating a safe and secure space for your pet. Patience is key here. It may take a little time for your puppy to adjust, but hang in there. Crate training a puppy requires extra patience, but it's well worth the effort. Finally, step 10 emphasizes the importance of consistency and patience. As we navigate the world of crate training, maintaining a steady routine and embodying patience are two key pillars that will guide us to success. Think of consistency as the compass that guides your dog's journey. By sticking to a regular schedule, be it feeding, playtime, or bedtime in the crate, you're setting clear expectations for your furry friend. This predictability can foster a sense of security and understanding, making the crate a safe and familiar space. Patience, on the other hand, is your unwavering ally in this journey. It's crucial to remember that each dog is unique, with their own pace of learning and adapting, 
Some dogs might take to their crates immediately, while others might need a little extra time. And that's perfectly fine. The reward for your consistency and patience? A well-adjusted, happy dog who sees their crate as a cozy safe haven. With these 10 steps, crate training your dog can become a more manageable and rewarding process.